just been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out Took a chance on a good thing Yeah, Now I got you on my right wing Now your love now is casual And you text me in the morning you're available Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with No more seeking I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first You're my baby It's true, it's true. You're so damn worth There's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are You're one of a kind No words to describe The way that you shine An angel in disguise I wanna make you mine One time that's you If I have you Us two on route So if you want to see our RV travels through Canada and also the U.S., please subscribe and like our channel. We love all the support. And let us know where have you stayed in Calgary, what campground you stayed at, and what you thought of Calgary in the comments below. Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott. And I'm Melissa. Welcome to RV Rolling with MJ as we are headed from Montreal to Vancouver and everywhere in between. Where are we supposed to be today? We're supposed to be in Calgary at Mountain View Farm Camping. Um, it's a, um, it's not hardly far from Calgary. We were there during the Calgary Stampede. Which you'll see in our yes. other videos. There's so much to tell you about Calgary. Yes. There's the Stampede. There's the, the city Oh, the city walk. is beautiful. There's oh. the uh, aerial view in the tower. Mm -hmm. There's just so much to do that's an action-packed video we'll leave for another day yes. um, but uh, tell us uh, um, about, the about, about the campground well we got there we once we pulled in and it's a 30 amp and uh, we after all, all the hookups and everything the it, it blew do you remember the electricity blew and so I contacted the office because it was kind of weird we couldn't find the breaker Yeah, the breaker wasn't um, associated with our lot so yeah. a lot didn't have an individual individual breaker found out it was like three or four um, places away so we had to um, go to the office and tell them but but it took forever for yeah, them. it did, was a whole pain in didn't the neck. really appreciate that yeah. I mean you come in uh, you're on the road forever it's hot air conditioning you want the air conditioning on and I'll say it. They take in their sweet time. Yeah. Um, so I, we had to go two or three times. I think you called up the I message. Uh, finally, I went in, <laughs> and um, they asked me if every is everything okay, and I said no. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get into the gory details, but they said, oh, the the we think the breakers on. Like I said, three lots down. I don't know why they didn't tell us that I don't know before. Why they didn't tell us right away? So I anyway, know. went there, flipped it on, up and running. Yeah. We're fine, but still, not a way yeah. to um, uh, to start the day off. The the other two problems we had. Um, well, I wouldn't say problem. One criticism I have is it's just like half of it was nice. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was nice. They, it was okay. They had a miniature golf course, which was. That doesn't belong there. Put it that way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how this the nice yeah, little was miniature really golf nice course miniature golf. fit in this sort yeah. of rundown place. Yeah. So they had this, I guess, okay section, and then there was a section we were in, yeah. which was like a parking lot. Yeah, and then it was and also next to the highway, but in the main highway. Yeah, but what are you gonna do about that? that? But it didn't affect. It. I don't hear it, it when I go tight. to sleep. It was tight. Uh, it, was it wasn't attractive at all. Yeah, it was. Not, it wasn't my cup of tea. The only thing going for the place, well, it was during the stampede, so it's not all the time. They had a shuttle, 
so you didn't, I didn't have to drive or rent a car or, or whatever. But the third problem I had was <laughs> with the shuttle. So anyway, try to keep this short. I always like to share our experiences. So we're returning at midnight um, on the shuttle. Um, we were exhausted. Oh, so, okay. we, so we went into <laughs> the parking it. lot where they told us to meet um, at about 11.15ish. So, because we were so early, we were the, the bus was there. Right. Where so they it, said, it said the name of our campground. Name of the campground. Said we were going to go. Um, said to the bus driver, he said, oh yeah, you can sit on the bus and wait. So we wait. Um, about quarter to twelve, people start coming in. And a woman comes up, steps into the bus, and says, oh, oh, like, oh. Oh, and she's talking to her friends. Oh, um, they're on the they're on the wrong bus, meaning us. Well, it wasn't just us. There was about two or two, two three other, other couples. couples. So she said, "This is a charter." I said, "I didn't know this was a charter. Nobody told me this was a charter." She said, "Yeah, we have a group of people that we chartered for the uh, stampede." Or yeah. So I said, um, "Well, I don't see our a bus that's supposed to be in the exact same spot." It's the same o'clock yellow at night. bus. Yeah, Everything was like the same. So uh, we weren't getting well, off. I said, I, I said we're not getting off about. because if a bus doesn't come, we're stuck. I'm not going to take your word for it, even though I'm sure she was sincere. You know what? The bus driver is not saying anything. The bus right. driver who works for the the campsite or as an agent of the campsite wasn't chiming in and saying, "Yes, yeah, right. sir, you have to get off. This is not your bus." He was just like picking up passengers. So anyway. The woman kept talking like in the third person, like, well, they were on the wrong bus. And other people started chiming in, but the and other two couples left. So We stayed because we weren't, didn't want to get stuck at the stampede and so, not get home. So, so anyway, I got mad. A gentleman also got mad, but I was in the right. I mean, I listened to the bus driver. Um, but, but anyway, very rude people. Uh, not that these people are ever going to see this video, but if they did... Oh, it's kind of... <laughs> what does it matter if you take I, that off? No, You're not putting put that on. No. But anyway, I, I take a lot to lose my cool, but when you just agitate me, and I, I erupt. <laughs> so anyway, um, it just... Besides I, that, it was nice that they have it. You have to pay for yeah, it. But uh, if you come on the other time, they're not going to have the um, shuttle. They also have, but we didn't do it, they also had a pancake breakfast that you could pay for. But um, let me just say, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> so anyway, um, th so around um, Carnival, no, what's it called? No, the Stampede. <laughs> around Stampede time, it's kind of a known thing in Calgary that a lot of places offer free oh, yeah. free pancake yeah. breakfast, which is great. Mm -hmm. Just so happy we stay at the one place that charges, charges you $7. So yeah. I don't understand why. I mean, come on, give people a bone. Hey, hey, it's Melissa from RV Rolling with MJ. We are presently in Calgary. Um, today I'm going to be showing you around the campground we're at, which is close to Calgary, and it's called the uh, Mountain View Farm Camping. I think it's about 25 minutes to get into Calgary, and uh, the campground does have a shuttle, but only during the stampede. So far, I'm really not impressed with this um, campground. So this is our site with 10A. It's very tight here. All the uh, sites are close together. But we have full hookups, 30 amp. The other option, if you don't have a tow car and you want to take the shuttle, if you don't want to take the shuttle, you could take Uber. They have Uber here, but it's definitely more money. And I'm not sure if maybe during the stampede it'll be more expensive. Just found out that there's a bus, but it's like a 20 minute bike ride to the bus. So we might do that tomorrow so we have more time. Have you been to the Calgary Stampede? And let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Friday night they have a parade I saw, but we didn't get here to Saturday. We're staying here three nights. And over there is the office, but I'll show you when I get closer. 
Looks like that's a farm over there. Maybe that's part of their property. So this is what I mean. It's a little bit also messy here. It's not a it's not a beautiful campground. But it does what you want. And I like the fact that it has a shuttle. Even though I wish it was earlier to get there. It was a little noisy when I was trying to go to sleep, but I was just so tired that I did go to sleep because of right next to the highway and we were close to it where they put us. I couldn't pick the site and they chose the site for me. I booked it a really a long time ago. So if you wanted to come here or any campgrounds um, in this area, I would suggest booking it way in advance. I actually didn't realize when I booked here that it was a Calgary Stampede and when I called I found out that it was and I um, lucked out and got a spot. I would have liked to have been over here better than where we were. Definitely is a little overrun. So on the map it says there's a bird pond. I guess that's what they're talking about. I thought it was going to be open but I guess not. They have a small um, store, some, some essentials. Uh, they have an ice cream where you can get ice cream cones. So this is nice that they do this. You have to pay for it. <laughs> right, on the map it said miniature golf. I'll show you. I guess you gotta leave the gate. Not bad. No, not bad. They suggest putting in this address um, instead of the um, name of the campground. But I, I had both, but then I stuck with the address and I got right here. They do have a laundry room, but it is expensive. If you're able to make requests, I would say ask them to put you in when you come into the place on the left side so you're further away from the road and it's more woodsy so let's talk about the rating yeah um so we rate places from zero to ten with zero being the worst place we ever stayed ten being the best place we ever stayed this one should be interesting yeah what do you have to say i'm gonna give it a five because i really didn't love the campground at all i didn't think as we said it wasn't like a pretty campground the problems that we had it just, you know, thankfully, like if you go to a, a motel or hotel and it's gross, you got to sleep in there, in that room, at least we've got our own nice RV that we can sleep in and get deal with. But I just really weren't, wasn't happy. I would definitely look for another place if I went back to Calgary. But I would totally visit Calgary because Calgary is an amazing place. But I would definitely pick a different campground. So what would that, what about you? I'm going to go with a three. Oh. <laughs> I just don't like two two things. One, the waiting that I had to wait for the electrical yeah. uh, when they could have just fixed it in a minute. They should have been jumped on it, um, but they didn't. Number one, and number two, the um, it's not the place's fault. Uh, well, it, it is. They could have communicated to the bus driver a little better of who's picking up who. But the fact that we were, you know, at midnight thinking we were going to be out on the street, maybe not with a way back, not cool. And it wasn't nice at all either. The campground was not nice. No. Well, I mean, Besides. That, yeah. So, and now I don't know, you know, Melissa makes the arrangements. I don't know if it's one of those situations like we had, I think, in Toronto, where it's the only game in town. No, I'm sure there's other things. Yeah, now remember, I like we the don't fact have a, the shuttle. Remember, we don't have a tow car. <laughs> a place like that, if we had a tow car, we probably would have left. Um, if we could. Yeah. Um, we don't have the ability to just mm -hmm. get up and go. So I would not recommend it. Uh, if you can go somewhere, try somewhere else. Right. So um, anyway, with that said, we, we will, will see, see you down, down the road. road. First class straight to Honolulu, we just vibing. Relaxing in the sun till we...